Hey guys, um, Billy checking in again. Um, hello to YouTube and Facebook and everyone else that, that follows me and whatever. Um, this is my two seconds. Thirty-five week update. That's nearly nine months. Genius. How happy am I? Um, right, so like posts and blogs and stuff like that. I've been getting quite a lot of support, um, mainly to do with this. That is my passport that you can see. Um, the reason this is such a big deal right now, because I just got it back. I did have a pa I had my first passport last year, um, but now I, I ordered a new one so that I could have oh, light shine on it. Where it says sex it's got, uh, where am I going? M. Right there. So I'm officially a dude where my passport's concerned. Chuffed, to say the least. Um, one of the topics that I wanted to bring up today um, was uh, smoking. And basically, the reason I'm bringing it up is because it's quite a common thing in most of my videos. I I'm struggling to quit. I don't know why, it's not like I've been addicted for 10 years or more. It's literally been a couple years I've been smoking and I just can't give up for some reason, so I'm bringing it up now. I don't know what I'm expecting anymore because I've tried everything and it's just... One of the things is this. Um, this cigarette here. Um, it's an electronic cigarette. Take a cap off. Yeah. Pants. Loads of people were raving on about these, saying um, that they're, um, you know, that basically like it's, you know, you don't know the difference, blah blah blah. But it's it's total crap. In all fairness, I, it feels heavier than the average paperweight. I could use this as a doorstop, right? So when you're when you're smoking, especially if you're driving, you know, and like I'm trying to go like this, and because it's so much heavier, I'm dropping it. And then there's, what's the point in that? So that lasted a day, I think. Um, I tried patches before. Um, patches I did find really good, initially. But then, basically, um, I had I put a patch on one day on my arm, and it felt really itchy, so instead of itching it, like scratching it, I just tapped it, and apparently tapping injects more nicotine into you which I found out very quickly because I, I sat there and I patted it for about a minute quite hard and uh, and then I just went green so that put me off the patches and um, so I never went back to them so here's what I tried then was this I'm not sure how many people have tried this um, you basically pull the lever down and then push that up and then you spray this into your mouth and is meant to be all well and dandy. In all fairness, where the killing the craving was concerned, it worked. But the fact that it feels like you're swallowing razor blades after you have some of this is what put me off using it because it's just it's initially it's fine, it's nice and minty and it's all good. And then it says on the packet, do not swallow for about a minute afterwards. But the thing is, is that when you spray this in your mouth literally your mouth just spills up uh, fills up with so much saliva that it's just you you can't sit there for a minute let's just say that with a mouthful of spit it's disgusting so i swallowed and then it was like razor blades going down my throat it burnt so much i drank a whole 500 ml bottle of water just necked it um it's just too it's just too much so the next thing was i listened i downloaded on my ipad um Alan Carr's easy way to stop smoking because I bought the book and I tried reading it my attention span isn't very long he kept repeating the same things over and over again and that might be part of the like hypnotherapy or something but it was just total shit and I just couldn't bear it felt like I was reading the same page on every page so I downloaded it because I heard if you listen to it um, then that's you know that's just as good as so I I burnt it onto disc I put it in my car, I got to CD3, which is halfway through, and then 
um, basically, I finished CD3, and then my CD4 had been scratched in the time that it had been in my car, so it wouldn't play. So, my my intent was to go back home and burn it again, and then carry on, but I just never got round to it, so once again, that failed. So then I, I came up with the genius idea that if I listened to it in my sleep, maybe it would work, and I'd wake up, and I wouldn't want a fag, blah blah blah, blah right? So, <laughs> I had this above my head, on the bed, and... Um, my earphones in, and I went to sleep, and all was fine. And then throughout the night, I turned and took more toss and turned and whatever. And the headphones wrapped around my neck, um, to the point then where it yanked the iPad down onto my face, along with my alarm clock that was sat on top of it, and gave me quite a rude awakening. So that went out the window. So since then, I've been smoking, and now I'm making this video, so that that's all my attempts so far, and I and I have no doubt that you're finding this quite amusing right now. Um, <laughs> things with the testosterone and stuff. Uh, moving on from smoking, um, I've noticed that. One second. I've noticed that a lot more facial hair is starting to come through now. Um, someone said to me the other day, someone who sees me quite often said to me that my voice has got lower again. Um, I don't think that's possible. I think I'm heading towards sounding like Barry White, but I really don't want to. Um, I don't mind it being low, obviously, I prefer it that way, but I, d I don't want it to be ridiculously low. But it sounds quite low to me. Um, yeah, they, Someone said that it got quite low, and that was shortly after my last injection, two weeks ago. Um, the facial hair is... I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. I really highly doubt you can, but... Um, yeah, it's coming through quite thick on this side. Um, and under here as well it's really thick and then on this side it's sort of like patchy so I don't know what's I don't know what's going on there but um yeah I'm just I got 13 days to go until I go to Australia and then uh, I'm gone for five weeks thank god I just can't wait to go on holiday a little bit of me thinks it's probably me just being you know wishful thinking but I kind of want to go to Australia, and then hopefully, like, a lot about me will change while I'm out there. Like, I might put on weight, or I might get more facial hair or something, so that when I come back, people will notice a big difference in me, because the people I see every day aren't really noticing anything, and it's making me really quite worried now, because I'm not sure if anything's, like, happening rapidly, like, you know? Like, I can see facial hair quite quite well. But nobody to this day has, has noticed it, really, apart from my boss in the club. He noticed it, and that's only because he struck my face. <laughs> but, um, so I, I kind of just want to come back and there'd be big changes, you know, as well as being super tanned and whatever. So, um, that's, that's what I'm hoping is going to happen anyway. But, um, other things that have been going on. Um, I've been working myself to the bone in both my jobs. Um, so that's not good. Um, I need to sort of cut back a bit, really. I'm just trying to get as much money as I can for Australia. Um, what's another thing? Um, all I got left to do now with where identity is concerned is send off my driving license. And then that is it. There will be nothing with Miss on it anymore. Um, which is gravy. Believe it or not, the people I had the biggest problem with changing my name, my title from Miss to Mister and my gender from female to male was Orange. Can you believe? Orange, the network, had a major problem with me changing my name, um, or my title and my gender. Um, passport office, fine. Gone out of the doctor, done. Um, driving license, I need my passport. So that all just sort of threaded in. All my bills, I called them up, they were fine, they changed it instantly. My dentist, my doctors, done, done, done. Orange? Orange seems to have some sort of massive thing about identity theft, so what the hell's going on there? I do not know. But, um, yeah, that's just a, a pre-warning, if anything, for anybody else. You, you're gonna get shit off Orange if you're with them. Don't go there. Um, but, eventually, the only way I managed to twist the arm of Orange was to actually pay uh, for a Depol certificate, just to change my title, even though I didn't need it for anything else. Quite piss off, cost me £24 just to change my title and my gender with orange um, so that was slightly frustrating um, muscles I don't feel are getting any bigger um, in fact I don't think they are at all <laughs> um, 
I haven't been going to the gym recently. I probably posted that in my last video. Um, I've been working like 60 hours a week. It's been immense. So, um, you know, if I haven't been working, I've been shopping for Australia. So, uh, I'll, I'll bust on it when I get back. So, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted anyway, um, as often as I can. If I can, then I'll make a video when I'm out in Australia and, uh, you know, take you about and show you some scenes or something. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, like I said, I'll keep you posted. And, uh, thanks for all the support again. Without you guys, honestly, this would be so much harder.